information that's specific, then I think we can create something that will help no matter what country you're in, if you want to migrate and how to do that. On October 2021, we migrants visited the second conference on migration and media awareness in Hamburg. We had a series of interviews that we will present in our next shows. I've been going to international conferences, uh, both in Europe and uh, since a few years we've been working uh, in some African countries too with Castellito, my training. Some of us were also in the first conference on migration and media awareness in 2017. At that time, the conference was full of visitors and participants. The second, due to corona restrictions, was a hybrid conference with public but also with online sessions. Our participation in 2017 was through another project called Radio Globale. Uh, by the, so when Larry talked, he in 2017, we had an interesting interview with Larry McCallay, the founder of Refugee Radio Network and co-organizer of the conference. We want to continue this interview that we had four years before from a specific point. But so this storyline was not from the beginning. Like it was said. like that. In the, it was worse in the beginning. Now we are back to where we were in the beginning. Uh -huh. Okay? okay. So it's like the beginning was bad. The middle was welcome, welcome, welcome. Now we are back to where we started again, with the discourse in Europe at okay. the moment. When you say the beginning, you mean before the influx. 2015? Be between. Before the influx. Yeah. Okay, so we have been here before the influx. Yeah. And Refugee Radio Network started in 2014, also before the influx. So I know that, this, I know the situation. So I know where we are now. So what we are trying to do now with the conference and other things we will do is to continue the momentum. Don't let us be weak, don't let us be tired. We have come too far to be tired. Did we lose the opportunity, No, no, no. Uh, I give you an example. You know, it's like a, a child. When he cries and demands something, we give it to him. But then we don't kill the child. So it's the same. And the father listens to him. So it's the same. We made noise. They listened. Little progress in this listen and then everything went silent covid came then it's not right we need to continue the noise because new dynamics are happening around the world in the area of migration and that's why on thursday and friday we had two movies to remind people there are two film screenings done by famous award-winning documentary filmmaker one was uh, the situation in libya and the other one is the global situation of the refugee crisis up till date. So all those coming together is a reminder that this thing is still here. Then we need to continue the good work we are doing, everybody, activists, bloggers, movie makers, social media influencers, that we must continue prep up our work, network more, attend more events, more conferences. That's what I encourage all of them to do now. Attend more hybrid, high content conferences so that you can be more visible there. I was in the Council of Europe's uh, ministerial meeting in Cyprus. I went to Portugal for another one before this. So all this is very important that we are visible everywhere. They know we are visible now, but then we need to articulate our issues, our needs. Those needs are divided into two parts, the local needs and the international needs. On the continental Europe perspective. The frameworks are there now. In 2015, the legal framework didn't exist. But now we have the European legal framework. It's there. Now they've used that for the Afghan situation now. It works. So those are the little uh, changes that I say that are progress. Now, in the media sphere, we've seen a lot of increase in community media activities for young migrants. They come, they arrive, they engage. Before, there was no opportunity, but now they are in, they are doing, and they are moving forward in their life, in their progression in, in Germany, Europe, anywhere. So that is the same dynamics. Then all they need to do is now, like a cobweb, network to, with each other and do something more different. An award, you could create an award, you could create a conference, you could create a festival, bring all of us together again as a reminder. 
We know them. We know these countries. When we were in Morocco in 2018 for the UN Global Pact on Migration, some countries did not sign that agreement. But the ones that sign are working with that, those agreements. Okay? It might be slow, but they are working with those agreements. They are working with the EU situation also. Those countries that didn't sign, that are anti-immigrant, and blah, 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 the Hungary, Austria, and all these places, what can I say? Yeah. Another man's food is another man's poison. It's not everybody that likes migration. Despite the fact that they have migration blood in them, but they still think in this way to manipulate the people, create all this hate situation. But then, do those ones that have agreed that this is what we want in our country, this is our policy, they are working with it. Regulars will always come. Whether we like it or not, whether it's Europe, whether it's... Uh, and I don't like to call them irregulars, actually. Yeah, it's... People move yeah. for whatever. If you block, they will find a way. It's like being an ant. You know, an ant, if he eats a wall, he turns and he moves. So they will find a way. Whether they like it or not, people will find a way. But then, the people... Journalists are talking about and These pushbacks have been there for donkey years. We, on the ground, we knew. But there was a time they weren't listening to us. But now... Young investigative activist journalists are all in this migration thing now, and they are making this thing visible in the mainstream. So that's good, but it's always been there. And then channels will always open, one way or the other, for them to get in. When they get in, the dynamics is how they survive. That's another thing, survival of the fittest, you know. But then people will come, whether they like it or not, whether they block or not, whether they shoot or not, people will still come, and few will go in. My brother, I was in a camp too, like that one in Greece. Am I dead today? Are we dead? No. We will survive. It's already playing a part. Your COVID vaccine was not was created by a migrant company. So, migrant migrants are doing super well, not just well, super well. They have big companies, big industries. So that's why I say your dream is your dream. Don't give it up because of document or something. Your dream will come. Where you will get to, you will get there. Nobody can stop it. So, I was in a camp. I'm not dead. His focus, his determination, you know what brought you, what made you leave point A to point B. His focus, you determine. Life is a struggle itself, I tell people. You, when you were in your mother's womb, you struggle to come out. When you're growing up, you struggle. When you're doing, starting your stage of life, it's a struggle. It's the same thing. It's a little bit just like, maybe for younger people, it's a shock. All this racism, all these uh, things they, don't, they didn't experience. Yeah, okay, that's a shock. But then it's the reality of Western world or any migratory flow. People in the migratory flow, there is doctors, there's professors, there is engineers. If they come to point B, they might not be able to do their profession. Yeah, this is the issues then there are other things to do. I know an engineer, a doctor, a surgical doctor, who is a famous blogger today. Who are the, are, the, are you not competent? Is he not competent? He came from Italy. Many people came from different countries. Canada. Amazing. Uh, there were, yes, 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 we are yes. supposed to have 270 people here. They are registered, but then too many COVID rules, yeah. 2G, 3G, everybody got scared. At least we have their registration. We prepared for them. So, so the first edition was filled up. Everywhere was. It was. Are you planning to have it next uh, year? Or okay, I know that. It might not be me, but it might be the younger ones that are doing well now. But then you, you will find me one year, two years. It all depends on funding. It's not free. It costs yeah, know, a lot I, of money. I know. I know that. So I have to lobby. I hope, I hope it will be next year again. Hopefully. We make hopefully. Next year. Hopefully. Hopefully. But then much younger people will do it this time around not not necessarily me so i'm handing it over to them so that's the situation but we will see we will not well, die we have the uh, <laughs> contact, contact. Okay. Yeah. thank so, you very much Larry. you're welcome Bye.